Today we're going to be looking at some free assets from Blender Everything that you can use to spice up your projects from a free flamethrower simulation, a real-time rock simulation, a fence generator, an explosion template, road generator, warehouses, and more. You don't have to sign up, you just select what you want and hit download. If you need a magazine for your project, this is a good template with different parameters. You can change the number of pages. You can even change the images and scale the size to make sure the pages fit. This offset allows you to open uh, the page directly like this. You can make this really short uh, magazine or you can make it really wide and it will still work. It will still open. Here is a template for a railroad generator. We have bolts can change the width of the rail, you can adjust the position of the bolts just like that. You can increase the sample count of uh, the uh, those rods and uh, whatever, uh, the bolts, and you get that. If you're trying to create a road generator in geometry nodes, you can use this as a starting file or as a template. You can see how the road looks. It has uh, the road itself, uh, the banking, and everything else. How much this banking is, we can change the number of subdivisions on the Y, the number of subdivision on the X. And uh, you can see here we have the roadside angle, which allows me to change whether this goes up or whether this goes down. Yes, I like that. There is uh, the displacement roadside uh, that you can adjust to have more displacement or less displacement. So this can be grass or rock, or you can have both by just duplicating this frame and making one grass or making the other rocks. And I, so I can change the seed, I can change the density, I can change uh, the distribution from the scale, I, I can change. So you can see, I can even change how close this is the grass starts from the road itself uh, by adjusting, uh, I think, this parameter here. So uh, here we have the road markings here. You can have more, you can have less. Here's a template for a flame thrower. We have a character that's moving around and just shooting flames into the scene. You can switch out the character. This is a mixer more character. To make it easy for you, I've set the capture system to replace so that you can replay and adjust the settings as you want. The emission of the smoke is based off uh, this mesh emitter which emits particles. So if you want the smoke to be shooting out faster, you can go to the particle system and increase the normal velocity. And you can adjust these parameters to add more smoke or add more fire. But I can adjust these parameters until I get uh, what I want. You can see I can reduce the amount of fire I want by just changing these shaders. But uh, if you have it to one, you will get more detailed smoke and you can see that we are getting more detail out of this. Okay, here is a rope generator based off a curve for the end to adjust where that one ends. And now you can change the alignment of these by just adjusting uh, the align rotation here. I'll be making a more built up version uh, on on my Patreon, but uh, you can get this for free. Uh, other things you can change the number of turns you have here, so that's that would be under this parameter here. You can build on top of this, create a different type of rock, a different type of rope, and uh, remember this is all editable. So I can uh, come in here, subdivide this, uh, so that this looks like uh, is on top of uh, the other, and I can duplicate this delete everything and come in here and uh, draw on surface so I can draw another rope that is going over uh, this one. You, If you need steps for your project, I have some destroyed steps here uh, that you can generate using geometry nodes. Uh, you can expose parameters like how many steps you want by increasing the duplicate elements here. Uh, value so I can make this two, I can make this three, I can make it more and uh, you can see the damage is random and uh, you have each step you can come here and change these parameters so each so that the damage is randomized and I have unique uh, values. Uh, you can uh, adjust a lot of parameters, you can see how the damage is added, I can increase the resolution of the damage by increasing uh, what would that be, the voxel uh, detail here maybe to 16 and uh, you can see i get even more damage i can increase this to maybe 32 it will be a little bit slow but uh, it's going to give me 
uh, more detailed uh, damage. I can uh, reduce the number of breaks in the steps uh, by just reducing uh, the pro probability here. Maybe let me put it to three and uh, that should uh, do that. If you need to set up an explosion, here is one you can start with. It's a simple setup using a particle system and a smoke simulation uh, setup. Uh, you can see this is an EV render, uh, but uh, it also does look good in cycles. You can change the details, you can change uh, the subdivisions uh, or the resolution. I also have a shader setup for you if you want to check that. And I also have this view and saturation node uh, that uh, you can use to change the colors for whatever reason so that you make something that looks out of this world. Uh, you can see it's just using two particle systems. You might have to bake the simulation first for you to see it in your viewport. One shoots particles up and you can change how many particles are shoot up and uh, one pushes particles on the ground uh, for the smoke to spread around and I should be able to see that in here so uh, you can give these lower ground particles, these lower particles more velocity in the particle settings and I should shoot them further. Here are some rock pebbles that you can use in your simulation. Uh, they are rocks falling or pebbles falling. It's not a rigid body simulation, it's based off our uh, geometry nodes and uh, it's very real time. You can put these anywhere on your rock surface and just rotate this. And you can see that uh, they will carry on on any direction you put them. And uh, if you want, you can switch them out for something else. I uh, can switch out the rocks. Obviously, the, the rocks I'm providing here are just basic rocks. Here is a fence generator that is built using geometry nodes. And uh, it's based off a curve. So I can come uh, to my scene here and you can see the curve I have. It's adjustable to draw the curve and uh, it has the sticks and the that if you're creating a bridge in geometry nodes here's a static file with different parts like the support columns the bridge slab and the side guardrails everything is procedural you can change the height width and uh, the, the different parameters uh, i've exposed just the bridge width bridge length and height plus columns but all the other parameters you can go through different nodes and see what changes and uh, you can choose whether to expose it or not and uh, you can also just build on top of this to make this your own project files are on blendereverything.com here's a free startup project uh, or template you can use these are two buildings uh, one is the main collection and uh, the other one is just an instance uh, the, of that same collection a large warehouse building uh, there, there are doors, uh, but these are very simple, me simple meshes uh, extruded and texturing should be very easy to to do. And uh, yeah, you can add as much details as you want. Okay, that's it for now. Subscribe, like uh, for more. More assets are coming on Lena Everything, so bookmark it and uh, I'll see you in the next time.